Hello, everybody, it's Shogun 1000 doing Polygon Duty. Welcome you back to more Super Smash Brothers Brawl Subspace Emissary. In the last episode, we explored the cave. Because obviously, we saw that um, King DDD got ambushed by Bowser. He kidnapped Princess Peach again. Otherwise, it would have been Princess Zelda. And we just basically chased after him. Only to like lose him at the last hurdle to then end off the episode. But this time, we are going to the ruins, continuing the path of the ruins with, uh, well, basically, like, because obviously, I think you can tell which characters are going to be with this level. I mean, we had the ruins too, then the path to the ruins, and now we are in the ruins. Yep, yeah, it's Lucas and Pokemon Trainers journeying once again. Now, with the ruins, there are literally a lot of ways that you can die in this, specifically by being crushed by this lift. So you've got to be careful of that. We've also got the return of the flues. So just be careful of them, because they can be menacing enemies. And we got the Borberus uh, trying to stop you from um, getting in here because of that. Um, well, this it will seal shut, and the only way you can actually like, get it back open again is by hitting a button on the opposite side of that water pool that we jumped over. So that's just a heads up on that. I know it's not really like strict or somewhat because honestly my commentary is never really the greatest in the world. Okay we got a trophy of Entei that's actually a bit of a risky one to get because it does disappear in the ceiling and these mice I swear to god. Might I add that these enemies are really annoying. <laughs> I know, I know, kind of an obvious pun, to be honest, but... Oh! Ah, falling spike traps. Ah! Oh, boys! I literally hate these enemies. They're just annoying to actually, like, have to deal with... Um... Trying to fight against their um, I can't think of a way to actually explain what they're doing without it sounding like in any window so I, I'm obviously gonna try and not really like highly suggest anything it's just basically like they're kind of creating wind to try and end you off. Right, anyway, there's the door we need to take. And we're in an auto-scrolling bit. Where they got like fire columns to try and um, well, obviously kill you and also these mites to slow you down. I could say it's best if you actually ignore the mites, but honestly, it's not really ideal. Anyway, we got a trophy of a Cooper shell once again. Now, technically, you could actually take that raft, but you can actually die from scrolling off the screen for too long, specifically if you're doing an auto-scroller, so just be careful with that. Got these crystal spikes, which will actually do damage to you as well. Just be careful with them. And, well, yeah, I can't really like, do commentary without anything sounding too suggestive. Anyway, metal pri uh, primates again. These can easily get killed by these crystals if you lure them into them. And, yeah, and as... It suggests they cannot be interrupted by the trophy stand. 
And oh god, oh! Yeah, some of these platforms you can't um, jump through. Okay. A hard container that will heal up 100% damage that we've actually taken, of so many damage we've taken so far, and also three stickers. So, nothing too suggestive about this room really, it's just three stickers and a health recovery. Oh, we got the Bitens again. We'll just ignore them. Just head off to the next portion of the level. And you can see, there's an Ivysaur stand. And it automatically catches it without actually having to battle against him. So that's actually kind of cheap. Oh, we got Autolands and a couple of Armites. Hey! Okay, thanks for the... Uh, oh, jeez, oh, I made flung all over the place. Oh, damn it. Didn't get there in time and I kind of boshed it up. So, Ivysaur. His methods of attacking is involving those vines. If you um, do side B, he will do fight, uh, razor leaf. Um, up special is basically fine with to actually try and grab hold of the ledge, so you can grab hold of the ledge if you so to go into well fall. A regular special is basically like um, bullet seed, but he shoots the bullet seed upwards for anybody who's going to be like directly above you. But the down special, I didn't even get a chance to actually show it, so hopefully we will get a chance to do it. Oh god, Shadies! Oh, new enemy. These enemies are ferocious attackers. Those blades can instantly fling you off into the map and kill you even at 50% damage. They are threatening. If you ever see them, get rid of them pronto. Okay, I've got to hit those switches. Um... Yeah, that's how you actually do that one, by the way. Okay, if I do that... There we go. If you do actually fail that, you can drop down there and it will send you back to where you were. There's no door down over there, so don't worry about that. Okay. So we've got some more enemies to deal with. Ah! Eh, the door shut on me! <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. Oh! Um, I... Okay, so that's an optional path that you can take. Wow, a couple of bunny ears. And... Oh, oh, okay. Right. So, oh, right. Okay. I just realized what the down special was. Down special does not actually do an attack. What it actually... Oh, God. What it actually um, does... Is you call Squirtle back and you bring out Ivysaur again. So that's what it does. Right, anyway. There's an optional door that you can take. You can actually miss this by hitting the wrong switch. Just as a heads up. 
And I'm actually going to change the Squirtle for this. There we go. We got Mr. Saturn trophy and a bunch of stickers. There we go. Now we can move onwards. And pfft, not what I was intending to do. Thank you. <laughs> just push that enemy to one side and then just go through the door. And here we can now fight Charizard. As we all know, water is super effective against um, fire. His side B special is Rock Smash. Regular B special is Flamethrower. Uh, his up special is basically like Fly. Where you can actually just like charge up to actually heal yourself. From a never ending fall. Um, and obviously you do know his down special. Hey! Oh god, I mean... Oh god. <laughs> well, to be honest, Charizard is more powerful than Squirtle, let's be honest. I mean, because Squirtle does still evolve into Blast... Um... Okay... <laughs> I don't know why Charizard did that. It seems they've hit a dead end, but there we go, we got Entei, Green Shell, and Mr. Salmon Trophies, and the stickers we got, Wiggler from Mario Power Tennis, I've not actually played that game, nor seen it, Hinawa from Mother 3, I think that's how you pronounce that, Cook Kirby from Kirby's Fun Pack, Cackletta from, obviously you know which game that is, because we've done, we've done an LP series of that in the past, um, Lucas, obviously from Mother 3, Metroid from Metroid Pinball, Tetra from the Wind Waker, and a panel from Nintendo Puzzle Collection. Right. So anyway, onwards to the wilds, I guess. I was immediately going rushing into danger and I was thinking, really? <laughs> yeah. It's like he's going to I saying, wait, I we can't outrun that guy. And then I was thinking, let's just follow him. And I'm thinking, what have I signed myself up for? <laughs> that kind of is the case in this. So anyway. We're basically chasing after a vehicle, it seems. Oh, these guys again. The gum... The... Gamiga. Eh? Ike! God's sake! I tell you to jump over the enemy and you jumped to where the Cooper shell was bouncing. You idiot. Oh great, we got an auto scroller again. And these platforms can't be... Meta Knight, what? Oh my god, what are you doing? Seriously? What is up with the controls today? 
But anyway, you did actually notice that we were actually meant to be falling down, and those, um... Um... Flying enemies that hit you with their nose launch you onto their back and then just fly you up into the never-ending bit. Those are annoying. Uh, we got a hammer, I think. Yeah, we'll think we'll take the hammer. Uh, oh. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. You actually pick up the hammer only to then have the mallet fall off the, um, the stick. And then you're stuck swinging a stick, doing no damage to any enemies that come by. There's no telling of when that can happen, because it is random. It's like having the regular mushroom and a poison mushroom. You can easily tell the difference of them two, because the poison mushroom is a darker colour. And plus, has an angry face on it. But the hammer... You can't tell whether the hammer is going to have his mallet fall off or not, because it's just all one item. Anyway, we're going to be fighting against wind here. I know. The one enemy I actually can't stand creates wind by blowing his trumpet. But this is just a desert wind. Okay, we got another trophy over there. And we got these things. Oh god, oh god! Dang. Couldn't avoid that. Hey! Hey! Getting hit once is alright. Getting hit twice is just adding insult to injury. Right. Now we're going to be climbing up. Ah, oh, I wanted to ride! Yeah, riding those enemies... ...is a faster way to actually get up there. That's like, that's like a speedrunning tactic, that is. Many people choose not to... Oh, got this guy! Armank. When they're in this defensive mode, you have to hit, destroy that... ...that comes off the head to do a lot of damage, to like open its um, roof so you can well kill the enemy. They can be frustrating enemies to kill, I'm not going to lie. Whoa! Okay. You would think it would be like a secret door over there, but obviously not. Well, it makes sense. Okay. Get rid of these um, birds. Whoa, jeez! Um, I didn't wake you up, you know. The bird did. Oh, so we got these things. I think some of them will actually uh, lower themselves down to show a door, I think. Oh, oh, this bit. you got to be careful on this part because you got raining rocks and they fall right through these platforms but not through that cliff platform that I was standing on. So yeah, you just got to be careful of the scenario, really. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be like a little mini fight here. You basically got two big primates and you have to kill them as fast as you can. Um, I think, roughly. Well, you don't really have to kill them as fast as you possibly can because that thing that was closing slowly does actually go back up. Um, okay. Right, so we can see there is an item here. 
Okay. Right. Now, this is basically like having a 50-50 guess. You basically got to choose whichever barrow is the correct one to take. Um, the ones in the middle and, oh, oh, okay. The ones on the left and the middle will send you back to start. But this one here sends you to an optional door. This optional door can easily be missed. Now, oh, that's sometimes controls really do like to act up. There, and as for another trophy, I think that was a trophy of Luigi's Mansion. Actually, we do already have one of them. Um, here's another trophy. And here is a bunch of stickers. Okay, there we go. And yeah, you get sent all the way back to the start. Alright then. Uh, just go through there. Take that barrel. And then that. There we go. And we're going to be stopping it here because we have got time limit, everybody. So next time we're Smash Brothers Brawl, we are going to proceed onwards through the wilds and see if we can catch up to that vehicle. It might have actually parked at the gas station by now, but you never know. So, we'll see you guys next time.